So I was opening up my brand new radiator and realized I've never done one of those unboxing videos before and they seem to be pretty popular online. So what the heck, I'll give it a try. So this is my brand new cold case aluminum radiator. Uh, it's supposed to fit the truck perfectly. So it's going into a 1955 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, these were rated um, to be able to keep cool a V8 engine. So it should work well for mine. And uh, of course, I've got an electric fan to put on it and all that goodness. So, let's go ahead and get this opened up. I should say, before I go any further, that it had two plastic straps. One right there and one right there. That went all the way around, all the way around. I cut those off before I realized, hey, I could do this video. So, assume that those plastics were on there. They were secure. This thing looks like it's really well packaged. So, let's open it up. Oh, I love this. So you open it up and take a look on the inside. And uh, give me just a moment here as I lean this in. And you can see it's completely encased in the foam. And so I think the easiest way to get this out would actually be to flip it over and lift the box off of it. So let's do that. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. Goodness. Got my transmission cooler ports there. It's obviously upside down, but it is gorgeous. All right. Tell you what. I'll get this uh, flipped around the right way, and I'll have you join me again. So, it's all here in this neat little package. This looks amazing. It looks like it's going to bolt right in. It's got the same tabs on the side. Uh, the one I pulled out was, of course, uh, steel, or no, I'm sorry, what am I saying? <laughs> Copper, and uh, it was great. So, this is a gorgeous thing, look at that. Look at those welds, man, this thing is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful work. Uh, the welds are fantastic on it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm excited about this, no doubt about it. Let's see, I can't seem to get the cover off for whatever reason. There we go, user error, that's the reason. Oh, it's just as nice on the inside, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And uh, man, I'm excited to get this in there. I've had some issues with overheating, but, well, not really overheating, but it's not as, not as cool as I'd like it to be. And uh, this is a, a dual core unit, and uh, at least it's supposed to be. Let me count how many. At least I was thinking it was. Yeah, two big cores. So it's got two really, really wide cores to it, and uh, this should go a long way towards solving that problem I'm having. Plus, uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know that my transmission just went out. I just had it rebuilt, and frankly, you know, if you're going to rebuild your transmission, it was going to mean a new. Tr um, transmission cooler and I thought you know uh, if I got a new radiator it would solve both problems at once and so that's what I did so I am really excited about this this looks absolutely phenomenal the workmanship looks great it's an absolutely beautiful unit and uh, very very well packed I am honestly extremely impressed with the packing on this pardon me um, so you can see this is all built on the inside. This was the cover that was on it. And I'm turning it the wrong way. It sits in there exactly. It fits into the box exactly. They really did a quality job on this. And that packing is there to keep this unit safe. Um, and I, uh, I spent some time working for one of the uh, major carriers that most of you would recognize if I told you the initials. And uh, frankly, I know the way some of the stuff gets handled and packaging like this is really, really important, especially for something potentially as fragile as a radiator. Man, I'm excited to put this in. It's gonna be fantastic. So, hey, looking forward to uh, showing you that video as well. But, uh, oh, it looks good. I'm excited about it. I got a lot of work to do though before I'll be ready for that. I got an engine that needs to be completely re, uh, reassembled here. So I better get back to it. Hey, thanks for joining me for this unpacking and please uh, reach out, cold case, 
I got it through Summit. Uh, you can probably get it directly from Cold Case, but I was putting in order of other stuff I needed, and they uh, they gave me exactly that. So I'm very excited about it, and looking forward to getting it in my truck. All right. So uh, if you've been watching the channel, uh, you know that uh, the transmission went out on my shop truck, my '55 Chevy Sketchy Pass truck, and uh, I ordered a bunch of parts. I figured since I'm pulling the engine out anyway. Um, the timing was acting a little weird, so I ordered a timing set for it, and that's a really good thing because that was about ready to come apart. It was really sloppy. Um, and I had an oil leak on the front. Some of that is the valley pan gasket, and some of that is out of the front of the timing gear uh, cover. The, this oil, this uh, oil ring here that goes around the crank was uh, cracked and dry and brittle and it was leaking oil out the, out the bottom of it. And so I ordered this guy for the front of the timing cover. And so this is the timing cover gasket and this goes underneath the, uh, underneath the, um, uh, the main bearing uh, cover there. This is an oil pan cover, or an oil pan gasket. I haven't opened that yet. I have to give that uh, I'll get that open here in just a moment. Uh, I thought since I'm doing it, I know it's that the intake is leaking again out the valley pan area. And so uh, I was going to have to pull the intake off to fix it. So I ordered new uh, small, these are for the small block Chevy of course, but it's an Edelbrock intake. So I ordered matching uh, intake gaskets for it. So this is a set of intake gaskets. I've got, uh, ooh, stickers, nice. I ordered a bunch of the uh, the black RTV, so this will definitely fix me up for, uh, I'll be able to coat these gaskets and make sure that that stays in place. By the way, uh, I work for a silicones company during the day, and I want you to know that overall, unless it says specifically on here that it, it, you know it's, it's not to be used in constant contact with oil, uh, most of these will work on just about anything. The only difference for the colors is because it's a mental thing. They change the colors of them in order to match people's expectations, like blue for water, black for oil, but frankly, this will work on just about everything. Uh, there's really not much of a difference for any of those products, so just keep that in mind. And, uh, ah, my timing set. So let's open that puppy up, take a look. There's an alignment instructions. Nice. That's pretty. That's a, that's a pretty thing right there. That ought to fit right on there. Very nice. I'm excited about that. I need that. And then the last thing in here is the torque converter for the new transmission. Um, well, it's the old transmission. It's just all new inside. And um, they did. It's, it is completely new inside. All the, the belts, all the... Um, all the discs were worn out. Um, you put a new shift kit in it, a B&M shift kit in that, and I'll have another video on that as well. And also a brand new pump because the old pump was damaged and uh, it, was, it had broken. So he went ahead and replaced that as well. So I'll be in good shape. This unit right here should help me get the power from the motor engine into the transmission. So let me get uh, let me get a tool here real quick and we'll finish our unpacking. All right. I love these things, man. They're like the biggest bubble wrap ever. It's nice. Woohoo! Oh, I popped it with my thumb. That's not, that's, you know, that's just unfulfilling. Well, it doesn't just be a good, oh, that one's front of leak, bummer. Anyway, both of these guys are just not, they're not playing by the rules, they're just leaking. But it got everything here safe and sound. And that's really what it's about, after all. Ooh, stickers. That's the same stickers that I just pulled out. I accidentally dropped them back in. All right, so let's pull this guy out. Actually, I'll pull it out here to see a little better. Oh, goodness, that's heavy. 22 pounds, I think. I believe it's 22 pounds. Ooh, that is a pretty thing right there. I like it. Let's get it out here. We can take a better look at it. That is freaking awesome. 
Holy smokes, that is so much more heavy duty than the one I just pulled out. That'll last a good long time. Fantastic. Woo! Stickers? Can't help us out. I get excited. Ugh. Said, you know, you spend $350 on a part. It should come with stickers. That's important. Sweetness. All right, well, let's leave that stuff in there for right now. And oh, I got one more thing to unpack. Oh, that's heavy. And that is my gasket set here. So, aha. So let's open her up. Take a look. Careful with the knife now. You don't want to go damaging anything inside the box. That would stink. Sweet. All one piece. If you've ever tried doing an oil pan gasket, you know what a pain it can be if you got the four piece unit there, and this piece is one, and that's another piece, and you got that one, that one, you got to fight, you got to keep them all in place. Not with this bad boy. Everything is all there. It also comes with brand new nuts and bolts, so I don't have to fuss with any of that stuff, uh, along with the lock washers on that. Some pins for alignment for easy installation. This is to hold everything in place while you're bolting it down. And there's the actual unit itself. Silicone. Oh, that is, that is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and we got instructions too. How to attach and align the gasket properly. All right. Nice. I tell you what, man, for me, uh, these Felpro units, I have always had really good luck with this stuff. But, like anything, you can decide how much you're going to spend, what are you going to invest, and maybe to you it's worth your time to save a few bucks and get the four-piecer. I tell you what, these one-piece units, the likelihood of leaking is a lot lower, and uh, I'm just a fan. So, we'll put that there and kind of reassemble our box here. We'll be ready to go. Hey, I want to thank you for joining me on this, and uh, hopefully you enjoy all the videos. If you do, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. Subscribe, and uh, you'll be uh, first one to know when I upload more content. Um, you know, I, I have a full-time job, so I don't upload content maybe as often as some people would like. And uh, I'm also kind of, you know, squirrel. You know, I'm a little bit like that. So it's very easy for me to get distracted and get sucked into other projects. So sometimes it might take me a while to finish the same project you started me watching. But fact is, I really appreciate all of you joining me. And I hope that you learned something along the way. And, you know, if nothing else, you get entertained by a guy who makes all kinds of mistakes and still manages somehow to get everything done. 